Hey guys, Robert here. I had a guy on Facebook hit me up and want to know how to draw lines in the data collector, how to use the field book file to create lines. So the best way to do that is actually to get jump into Business Center and create it there. But today I'm going to show you how to do it in the data collector so you can actually start drawing lines today. Set it up, get it rolling. So check this out real quick. Okay, so let's get started. I got an emulator opened up here on the uh, computer. Let's jump on it real quick and I'll show you guys how to do this. First thing we want to do, we want to go to settings, feature libraries. I've already got one in here. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Yep, new. I'll call it Facebook, enter, accept. Now that I've got it in here, now I need to edit it. Edit. So, let's delete these codes. Add a code. Let's call it fire hydrant. Okay, so we're gonna call this. Fire hydrant. Okay, so fire hydrant, and we're going to make this a point code. So the reason it's a point code is because I don't want to draw lines from fire hydrant to fire hydrant. Yes, I want to draw lines from water meter from water line to water line, but not from fire hydrant to fire hydrant. So um, you have point code, say like a tree, that would be a point code. So anything that you want to shoot, you don't want to draw lines to, that's a point. Okay, let's jump into the next one. So we're going to accept that. We're going to add a code. We're going to call this one. Um, BC and back of curb. Okay, the descriptions are just as important as the code itself because the descriptions are going to show up. It's going to say BC for code and then it's going to have a description on there whenever you go to select it so you'll be able to tell what it is. So this is actually going to be a line code and you can choose any color you want to make it. Let's go with blue. So I'm going to accept that. So uh, line code is going to be right now the way it is. If I said BC, if I start when I have to start taking shots and I start zigzagging across the road, BC, 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 it's just going to draw a line between each BC shot because I just told it it was a line code. So now what we have to do is we need to introduce control codes. So we need a a, a begin and an end. So let's do that. It's called ST. I'll call it. Start line, so everybody knows what it is. We're going to call it control code, and we're going to say start join sequence. So we are going to start the line. So what you're going to do is you're going to say BC ST for your first shot, second shot BC, third shot BC, fourth shot BC. You're going to keep shooting BCs till you get to the end of that line, and you're going to call it BC end. So let's accept that one. So now let's add a point, add a code. We'll call it in, in line. It's a control code. We're gonna say in join sequence. So now we're gonna go BC in, that's gonna end the line. Now you may wanna do a BC1 and a BC2. So if I'm shooting each side of the curb, BC1, BC2, you always wanna shoot going forward, never come back. Remember, this is a pencil and you're drawing a line. So you're going to draw a line. Every time you take a shot, it's going to draw a line as you go down through there. So you want to make sure, pick if you're drawing lines, you want to pick everything up moving forward. So I'm going to accept that. Store it. Now I'm going to jump into general survey. Jobs. New job. Oh. I would call it codes. And I'm going to use Facebook, accept, 
closer. And a little project open a second ago. Measure, RTK, measure points. Okay, so now point name, I'll call it number one. When we click on that, you see the code popped up. So you'll notice it says BC, then it says back to curve, end, end of line. So description is pretty important here so you know what each code is. So if we said BC, and we said start, and I said enter, and I said measure. So it's going to store that shot. So now, if I go and look at the map screen, and I do this right here, it's going to move me. So now if I go to measure, now I just want BC. Observation you can see it drew a line. So now if I say measure again, and I smooth a little bit more, Measure. Store. As you can see, I'm moving. So now what I want to do is I want to end the line. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to move, I'm going to move over this way a little bit. I say measure. I say BC. And I just totally did that wrong. I want to start. Want an end. Enter. Measure. Store. Okay. So they ended that one. So let's move around this one a little bit. So I say measure. Go back and I say BC. Start. Observation store. You can see it didn't draw a line between four and five. Now if I go back and I hit measure, let me move a little bit more over here. So now if I say, if I click up here and I say BC, I'm just gonna do another BC, measure. Store. So as you can see, it just went from five to six, it drew a line. So now, if I move one more time, measure, click on here, I say BC, and I say, whoops, mouse to click, BC, in, enter, measure, that ended my line. So you see how it works, it's BC, start, BC, 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 in. Okay, hope this helps you out. As always, be safe out there. Don't cut yourself with a machete or something like that. Um, also, like and subscribe. If you guys like and subscribe to these, these videos, I know what you like. I know what you want to see. And I want to get a bunch of these out here to help you guys out. Because especially for you newbies, I know how it is when you're getting started out trying to learn all this stuff. So, And I also know that we all use about a fifth some people say 25%. I think we use a fifth of what um, is actually available to us on the static collector. So you guys be safe out there, and I'll see, catch you guys in the next video. See ya.